everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here on this channel. Welcome back to another video in our villainous series inspired by the Disney villains. Maleficent is by far the scariest villain in my opinion. She was so scary, my mom threw away the video. That's right, the VHS we had of Sleeping Beauty because my brother Kenneth could not stand the sheer freakiness of Maleficent. And so I therefore suffered from his fear. Seriously though, the kid had nightmares forever because of that show. If you've been around this channel for any amount of time, you know I do not do any gore or scary soaps. It would not be authentic for me to make those, however, because I do not like scary movies, I do not like gory things, I don't like Halloween that much, it's not my thing. However, I will say because of the colors of Maleficent, she has some really yellow green smoke coming out of her nose. As a dragon, she is purple and black. This is the most Halloween-y looking soap I'll probably ever make. It will be available to purchase on October 3rd with the rest of the Villainous collection. And without further ado, let us make Maleficent! Okay, so the first thing I have to do is pour my lye water solution into my oils. If you would like to see how I make lye water solution, you can click in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And the recipe I am using today is for free in the description box below. I like to help you guys make soap. If you are interested, we have an entire series dedicated to teaching you guys how to make soap. It's called the Royal Creative Academy. You should check it out while I blend this soap. This soap is going to be three colors, black, purple, and green. It is also going to be scented. Oh, dang it. My phone is vibrating in my pocket and it really tickles. <laughs> Mummy can't come to the phone right now. She's cooking up a caustic brew. I'm gonna scrapey scrapey out this little container. First color in, black oxide. Next up is purple. And then we have neon green mixed with a little bit of neon yellow. I'm going to go ahead and add the fragrance oil. This is Trick or treat by nature's garden it's mixed with some kale and clay to add some silkiness to our bar and anchor the scent let us blend up these colors oh wait i should probably start with green and now we swirl i'm going to pour this soap into our container i'm going to do two pours wait I have an idea. Maybe we should just pour all the black in. Yes, get all that out. It is coming to me now. Gonna pour some green down this side. I am breaking the fall by pouring it first onto the side. Now I'm gonna drop it straight in. Scrapey, scrapey. Then we're gonna pour the purple onto the opposite side. Once again, breaking the fall, pouring it straight in. It's perfect. Excellent, let's spin it around a little bit. Get it all wiggly in there. Ooh, yes, can you see the smoke? rising from the nostrils of Maleficent the dragon. I know I sure can. So we will now pour this with one big go into our two Bramble Mary molds after this quick commercial break. All right, here it goes, right down the middle. Gonna pour a little down to help it out. Once again on this side, right down the middle. Pour a little down, help it out. Pour a little down this way. I am going to scrapey scrapey out my containy a little more into these molds, and then we will move along to the soap frosting and embeds. All right, so I have this beautiful purple soap frosting with some black oxide down the sides. It looks so pretty. It's really, really pigmented, which of course is what I was going for. I'm really, really pleased with this frosting. Also, purple frosting tends to get a little thicker a little bit faster, so 
I always try to move it along, not spend forever on my piping because, well, I wouldn't have enough time to make it very perfect if I did. Okay guys, so now it is time to put on Maleficent's horns. Now there's a lot of different ways I could have made Maleficent's horns, but I'm worried mostly, as you guys probably know, about shipping. Shipping is a really big deal when it comes to getting soaps right <laughs> and making sure they don't break. So I needed to pick something that was sturdy. What we ended up doing is taking the half moon mold and cutting it in half. It makes a perfect horn. I'm kind of tucking this between the first and second layer of soap frosting. I feel that's where it's going to have the most support. You see right here, right between these two. And I'm pressing it in kind of far so that this just sticks straight up. Maleficent doesn't really have straight horns like this. She kind of has a twisted horn. So the further I can push it in, the more realistic I think it's going to look. She truly is the worst villain for more than one reason. But one of the things that makes her so dang scary is that she can just show up out of nowhere through that little glowing orb. Some of the creepiest music I've probably ever heard is the music that gets played whenever Aurora is sitting at the little vanity and you just hear that ah, and you look into the fireplace and Maleficent is freaking standing in the fireplace. Who does that? What a creep. Some of the scariest music, some of the scariest visuals, and that laugh that she has. She leans over to her little bird friend at one point to laugh at her minions. And she was like, can you imagine my pet? All this time they've been looking for a baby. And then she does this laugh that I have never heard one person replicate. It's so evil. I just can't, I can't with it. That voice actress, she, she should be awarded something. I don't know what. But yeah, as a kid, Kenny was basically having none of it. I don't remember any specific examples of me using that movie to be mean, but I know I used something. Either I dressed up as Maleficent or I made the noises from the movie or something. What a mean big sister. He probably deserved it. He read my diary on multiple occasions. Okay, so before I continue, I'm going to turn this to the side so I can make sure that the horns and the piping are even and not leaning one direction. Typically, they do lean a little bit because I'm placing them at an angle. These guys look really good over here. It was just the ones on this side, I think, that needed a little bit of work. And now, but a smattering of holographic, eco-friendly glitter because even villains need to look fabulous while they're rampage villages. There's one thing you can't say about Maleficent. It's that she is a dowdy dresser. That woman has fine cloaks indeed. Just a few spritzes of rubbing alcohol to keep that soap from sweating on top. And Maleficent is complete. Now if she ain't the prettiest little mistress of all evil you ever did see. Look at that hollow on top, so shiny. So we are gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and take a peek at the inside of this Maleficent soap after the quick commercial break. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh, this swirl, tell me that doesn't look like whenever she is standing on top of her castle and she's sending out this big spell and she's like doom and gloom, blah, blah, blah. And then she puts thorns in the path of Prince Philip, you know, and she's like, ooh, shoo. <laughs> me just using words that don't make sense. They just don't make that much sense. Hopefully y'all got something out of that. <sighs> okay, okay. <sighs> Calm down, deep breath. <sighs> Let's take a peek. Oh, heck yes. Look at this on top. Putting on that black oxide, best decision ever. It looks so good. I'm thrilled to death. Let me smell. Oh, oh my gosh, it actually smells like fall Halloween in a soap. That's so weird. Yeah, it's got some like a little teeny tiny bit of cinnamon, 
some clove, definitely smell orange, and there's something sweet in there, like a candy smell. Oh, it's so good. Yay, and look at the horns. Yee! I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say. I'm just excited. Wow. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so this new swirling thing that I've been doing recently, where I just pour it all in one big go down the length of the mold is just my new favorite thing to do. It looks so good. Also, for those of y'all who are new around here, I know you're gonna be like, but Katie, this video is being released in September. All the spoopy soaps, all the everything is in October. And that is because I have to make all the soaps a month early. So you're gonna see me make Christmas soaps in November because they have to sit so that I can release them in December when the theme is going to be accurate. So it's always kind of a month ahead and then I'm filming the videos way in advance. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, these end ones are my favorite. They look so good. Okay, I'm thrilled to death. Hooray for the Maleficent soap. We are pleased. It's pure evil. <laughs> it's just you're evil. But I will say, every time I smell this, it just smells like nostalgic autumn Halloween. I don't know how to explain it any other way. Nature's Garden did a really, really, really good job with this fragrance. So if you're someone who likes to make candles or wax melts or whatever, this is something I would recommend adding to your holiday wine because it just, it just captures the whole dang thing. I love it. I just love it. It's just so wicked. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would like to give this video a thumbs up or uh, leave me a little comment down below about what you think about this soap or other soaps you hope to see in the series, honestly, whatever you wanna talk about. Some people I know like to get into that comment section and they tell me their life story. And you know what? I read it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> truly invested. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today like burning a spindle or luring small children into a fireplace. Actually, I probably don't recommend either one of those things. Come up with something more wholesome to do in your free time, please. Either way, I just want to make sure you do something that makes you happy and is also legal. <laughs> and until next time, you have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Yeah.